Good morning, people watching at 65. Lisa Boyce here. I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. That Christ spilled his blood for our past, present, future sins, was buried, and rose again on the third day, according to Scripture. That's how we're saved. That's how we're kept saved. No other way. Um, it is the blood of Jesus that we're saved. I can't, like I keep saying, I can't put enough emphasis on the blood. The blood is how we're saved. That's where our faith lies. It's in the blood of Jesus. It is grace through faith in Christ alone. Not of ourselves, not of works, lest any man should boast. It is grace that God gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. We believe with the heart, according to Romans. It's with the heart that man believes and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. We're saved by believing. Believing in what he's done for us at the cross. There's no other way. Um, <clears throat> once you accept Christ as Savior, the Holy Spirit indwells in you and leads you and guides you. Uh, I would encourage you to read Paul's, gospel, or Paul's writings, the gospel, which is basically him giving the gospel. It's handed down to him by the Lord, period. Um, you will never lose your salvation. Once you accept Christ as Savior, you are sealed until the day of redemption. You are not only sealed, but you're rapture ready. That's how it is. I got to give you this article uh, real quick. I have an appointment. Um, but this is, um, and yeah, we are getting a lot of wind and weather. The weather has been bad. <laughs> uh, the lights have been, the electric has been going on and off all morning. I woke up to thunder. I mean, the thunder was horrendous. <clears throat> um, earthquakes have been going off the chain, everything. Um, this article came this morning on End Times Headlines. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> it says Kim Jong unbranded a catastrophic threat, secretly preparing nukes and launches a missile. So, uh, the North Korean uh, North Korea has been branded a catastrophic threat to global security. As Kim Jong uh, quietly prepares his nukes and keeps his coffers flush, Kim's regime is pressing on with his quest for nuclear weapons, which is funding through massive cyber heists, carrying out illegal trades, and even selling arms to terrorists. If you didn't know this was going on with this nation, they're in bed with Russia, they're in bed with China, He's in bed with all these people. And ironically, all these nations are going to come against Israel and the U.S. Like I said, we're just sitting on G waiting on O to get out of here. Experts told The Sun Online of the ongoing threat posed by North Korea as, US, uh, as Sleepy Joe prepares to meet what is likely going to be one of a major one of the major international issues of his time in the White House. I wouldn't say that. I think the rapture is going to be his major news event. I'm just saying. I don't know why I said that. <clears throat> that just came out. Scott Snyder, a senior fellow for Korean studies at the Council of Foreign Le uh, Relations, told The Sun Online, the regime is the most potentially catastrophic security threat in 2021. The renegade state yesterday reportedly launched two ballistic missiles into the Sea of Japan, confirmed U.S. officials and the Japanese Coast Guard, as Kim Jong resumed his warmongering military test. Of course he's going to do it because of the administration that's in office now here in the U.S. He's going to keep doing that. He was afraid of Trump, but no, nobody's afraid of this guy or his counterpart. The offensive was North Korea's second missile test 
in less than 24 hours after around 12 months of inactivity. Authorities in Japan reported that at least one projectile believed to be a ballistic missile had been launched from North Korea on Wednesday. I read about that. And it's no surprise. Like I said, we we have a weak administration, and they don't give a crap. They don't. Matter of fact, I don't know whether you heard about this or not. They sent a memo out to the Washington staff, to the D.C. staff, saying that it is no longer, um, <clears throat> it is now called the Biden-Harris administration. It's no longer the Biden administration, but it's called the Biden-Harris administration. She's getting geared up, ladies and gentlemen, to take her role as the leader of the free world. Any time now. As the news gets worse, the news gets better for the church. Because we look up and see our Redeemer getting ready to snatch us out of here. I'll be back later. Um, I'm going to link this article in the description box. Uh, anything else comes up, I will let you know. Thank you.